Hi, this is Ram Mirwani. I'm going to uh, show you today how the LabVIEW environment works with the uh, AWR VSS environment. Um, I am the Global Strategic Accounts Director for AWR, and my focus is on the synergy with NI and AWR tools. So what I'm going to show you here today is how the tools can work together. What I have on my screen here is a VSS example that basically shows an end-to-end -end radar system design. And here you can see in the top front here, uh, you have a chirp generator, and then you go into the TX and RX module, you have your antenna pattern, and then at the bottom here, you have a variety of different processing, baseband processing uh, functions. And these are all natively available in VSS. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start off this simulation. And here you can see VSS runs, and in the bottom of my screen here, I have put in several different metrics that will be tracked throughout the system design. And as the simulation starts, you will see all the different pointers will start collecting data and it will show up in the, in the chart that I have here. So this is a very uh, straightforward implementation of a radar system design. And here you can see the system metrics are now being collected. And all these functions are natively available in VSS. So what I'm going to do now is we have taken this example and modified it to have the baseband processing functions done in LabVIEW. So I'm going to bring up that example right now. So first, I'm going to stop this current example. And I'm going to shut it down. And then I'm going to bring up the next VSS example and over here you can see as I go ahead and start it let me give you the definition here what you can see is a VSS application where you have LabVIEW blocks that are actually now integrated within VSS so for example the chirp generator function is now a LabVIEW virtual instrument a LabVIEW VI an application built in LabVIEW that is called by VSS. And the data is transferred from the LabVIEW VI, the LabVIEW application, into the VSS environment directly. There are no file transfers involved. Okay? And as, you, as I go over this particular example, you can see again we have the chirp generator function in LabVIEW, and then we have the transmitter, the RX and the TX part of the design, and in the bottom, you will see a variety of baseband functions again. Now, the difference is here you will see the MTI function, the moving target indicator function. This is a function that's written in LabVIEW. So it's a LabVIEW virtual instrument, a LabVIEW application. And then the MTD function is also written in LabVIEW. And the CFAR function is written in LabVIEW. Now, at the end, I again have put a variety of pointers that are linked to the charts so I can track the metrics. In the bottom here, you can see the chirp waveform. This is a chirp waveform that is actually generated by a LabVIEW application. And it is then, and I'm bringing it up here. You can see the LabVIEW application is generating the chirp signal and sending the data to VSS. So the way I'm positioning the different screens here right now, you can see the LabVIEW VI is generating the data and passing it to VSS. So this is from the chirp generation. At the bottom here, you can see that the metrics are now starting to be collected. So here's an example of how you can basically design a radar system in VSS and then implement LabVIEW blocks that can provide the capability to bring in real-world measurement waveforms, connection to instruments, and have those measurements to co-simulate with your model as an extension of verifying your system design. Thank you very much.